Hi guys, in this video I'll be sharing with you my top three multiple off-camera flash lighting setups that you can try out at your next wedding. And I'm gonna start right now. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you my top three multiple off-camera flash light setups for weddings. Now, if you've only got one light, don't worry. I've actually already made a part one to this video where we've gone over my top five different lighting setups if you've only got one light and just a couple of accessories. But in today's video, we're going to explore how you can use multiple lights at a wedding to be super creative. Let's start off with shot one, which is the Hollywood two light shot. So the Hollywood two light shot is a really nice one to start out with. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a light positioned to the left of the couple and to the right of the couple, 45 degrees. So you're creating almost like a triangle between you, the lights, and also the couple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get yourself, you're gonna have one hand on your left, and if you have your hand on your right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the couple facing, so if you guys wanna face that way for me, uh, uh, the other way, there we go. So we're going to have them almost back to back, but almost at a 45 degree angle. Again, we're really going to be using symmetry, again, with the really nice kind of venue that we've got in the background. Then I'm going to get yourself looking over to the left. I'm going to get the groom looking over to the right. Now, what's nice about this is you can go for quite wide or you could go for quite tight. It's completely up to you. I'm going to be using a 24 mil and the settings that I've got at the moment is a hundredth of a second at f5.6 because I want a little bit of that starburst shot coming in if I want to integrate the lights into it. And then I'm, because it's a little bit dark, I'm shooting at 2000 ISO. Perfect. And if you guys look off to the, uh, off to the far distance for me, so go ahead and take a photo. So as you can see, we're really integrating one light is lighting the bride, one light is lighting the groom. So, if you, so you could go for a shot that looks like this, which looks really, really nice, adding in a little bit of flaring. But what you can do is step really, really far back and we're going to actually have the lights in the shot. Now for this, you could shoot at a low aperture and have them as a kind of a blurry mess. But what I actually recommend doing is having them as starbursts. And to get a starburst on my 24 mil, I recommend shooting at around about F8 to F11 and just try and experiment. So what we'll do is we'll integrate the lights into the shot. We'll do go for a shot like so. And as you can see, we're creating this really cool effect where the groom and the bride are both being lit. You might want to lower yourself down a little bit as well. Again, you're trying to use symmetry if you can. And you end up with this really cool shot. Again, try and experiment with shooting a little bit darker in the day. This can also work in daytime as well. Again, you don't want the lights too powerful, but because it's quite black now, we're really creating this really nice, almost silhouette shot with the background and the foreground. So that is the Hollywood two light. Now to get the most out of it, I recommend using a super high aperture. So you are gonna need quite powerful lights. If you use an aperture of F11 to F16, you get these beautiful star bursts. If you want to include the lights in the shot, you don't have to, you can crop in a little bit, but if you want, I highly recommend having those cool star bursts because I think it adds a real interesting shot. I don't notice a lot of other photographers doing it, so I recommend high aperture. Anyway, enough of that, let's talk about shot two, which is called the wrapping colored backlight shot. Now for the colored backlight shot, it is very similar to the one where we're using just one light, but in this time we're using a wrapping backlight as well. So with this, we've got two Profoto A10s. We've got a blue gel on one and we've got a grid on the other, but we've got them facing opposite directions. So we've got one facing the bride and groom and one facing the wall. So this one's gonna create that lovely wrapping backlight then what we're going to do is we're creating that nice blue gel to create a lovely circle. So we're not just going to have a silhouette shot like we did in part one. We're going to actually use a wrapping backlight, which we did in part one. And in combination, we're going to use the coloured gel. So let's go get the bride and groom. Now for the settings, we're using a hundredth of a second at F2 and 2000 ISO. So what I'm gonna do is step back a little bit. We want the whole bride and groom in this. You can try it a little bit closer, but we can also try and get basically absolutely everything in. I wanna go ahead and make sure they're center. So if you want to look at it for me, Cho, guys, brilliant. And we go ahead. And as you can see, what it's doing is the light is lighting them up. So they're not just a silhouette. So the light's wrapping them, but we're also adding in a colored light as well. Now for some extra flair, you can also add in some smoke. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the smoke grenades we're using is the Enola Gay one. This is the medium one. I believe it's the size, what size is that? Medium size, doesn't say the size on it. Pull the trigger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it between the light and the wall. So it's gonna light up on all the smoke. So go ahead, make sure you've got it balanced. Might wanna give it a couple of seconds and then it really starts to pump it out. So let's go grab the camera. 
Now I've chosen white smoke for this simply because I just, it looks quite nice. Now, as you can see, it is bubbling up. What we need to do is just give it a little bit of time to kind of fill the atmosphere. Again, we are outside, so we want it to kind of really kind of fill, make it a little bit kind of, you know, real punchy. Okay, ready guys? It's looking really nice, but what I'm gonna quickly do, is I'm gonna try and fill the atmosphere. So I'm gonna grab the hold of the smoke grenade. Work out where the way the wind's blowing. There we go. And that is looking amazing. Now with the larger smoke grenades, it gives you a little bit more time than the smaller ones. Sometimes the smaller ones only last 20 seconds, just doesn't give you enough time as a photographer. So if you buy the larger ones or the medium sized ones, it gives you loads of time. If you guys just look at each other, just one more second for me guys. And just as the smoke dissipates, creates this lovely, lovely haze. And I'm really happy with that shot. So if you do have some smoke or some haze, recommend using that. But otherwise, that is an amazing wrapping light coloured shot. Let's go inside because it's now starting to rain. And that is the wrapping coloured backlight shot. Now, it is very similar to a shot I did previously in my previous episode, but we're using two lights. First one to add colour and then the other one to add that wrapping backlight. So you can see you can add multiple lights to basically add more interest to your images. Again, recommend using coloured gels. We used blue gel in the shot, but you don't necessarily have to. You could use red or whatever gel you want. Anyway, let's talk about our final shot and my favourite shot, which is called the fake sunset shot. So to create the fake sunset is really easy. And all we need is simply two lights. Firstly, one light to light the couple, and then we want one light to create the fake sunset. We've got our A2 up here, and then we've got the softbox octa. So it's the clip on one, really simple to set up. And then we've also got the grid. And what this will do is it will light the couple. And then what we do, if you come over here, we have got the windows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a flash outside and we're gonna have it coming in. Now you might need to play with, uh, experiment a little bit with the power. So on this one, I'm gonna have half power and in Profoto terms, that's 5.0. Then we want to do is create the fake sun and we need to go outside to do that. And we're gonna be using the B10X as it's the brighter light because we're gonna lose a lot of light because obviously not all of it's gonna go through the window. And then to really show that it's fake sunset, we're gonna add some aerosol spray. So let's go ahead and put the B10X outside. Now what's really nice about the B10X is it's a really powerful light, which I think it's really perfect for weddings. You could be really creative with it. And what's also nice is it's got a nice powerful modeling light. So you can really see where the light is falling because you can rely on the modeling light instead of just experimenting with flash and basically use trial and error. So we'll look through, it is this window here. So we can see them there. So what we just need to do, pop the flash down. We wanna raise it up, but we want it slightly higher because obviously sunset as the sun set is at an angle so we want it slightly higher than the actual window itself so we'll go for something like so and then i've got it on half power 5.0 at the moment i'm going to go ahead and increase that power i'm going to go ahead and place it on eight we might need to come outside again just to change it we want it roughly facing at the window and then we can turn on the modeling light just to see roughly where it will be that's looking really really good so let's go back inside and take the photo so now we've got the light outside, we're just gonna experiment a little bit to try and get it. And then what we'll do is we'll add in the aerosol spray. What that will do is it will really highlight where the light beams are coming from. And it's a really good way to add in drama. Again, add in atmosphere. So I'm gonna do, kneel down, test the, do a test photo first. So uh, the shutter speed I've got is a hundredth of a second at F2.8 and then 500 ISO. So we'll go ahead and take a sample photo. And as you can see, light is now coming in from the side. So it's working really, really nicely. You can see it really looks like sunset, but it's obviously dark on the other side. And that's where that light is really coming in and adding in some nice warmth there. Now, obviously this works if you've got an assistant, but today it's just me, a cameraman and a couple of uh, bride and groom. So what I'm gonna do is place this on a tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some aerosol spray. So to create this shot, if you've only got yourself, is actually use the interval timer of the camera. So the interval timer, I'm gonna take 10 photos, a one second in between each photo. So it should take 10 seconds, place it on mechanical shutter. I'm really happy with the shot. I've lined it up all with the tripod. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo and then add in the aerosol spray here. And then basically just step back and let the light come through the window. And it is working really nicely. Let's try that again. A bit more in.
And there we go, guys. A really cool shot. Recommend getting a full can of atmosphere spray. It has run out, but it still works really nice. And that's something you can always emphasize using a few flare filters or that in Lightroom Classic. And here is the before and here is the after. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that is my top three favorite lighting setups if you're using multiple flashes at a wedding. Of course, if you've only got one, make sure to go ahead and watch our previous episode where we go over five different types of lightings if you've only got one light. But these are my top three. And write down in the comments below which one is your favorite. Is it shot one, shot two, or shot three? I love to hear your feedback. And if you want to see a part three to this, you're more than welcome. Make sure to write it down in the comments below. I've been James for Photo Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.